Welcome to Ken's Hobbies. My name is Ken Lind. For a helicopter ride around the city for half an hour. Happened to fall on the same day as my youngest son's birthday. It's a Sunday, or, yeah, it is a Sunday. Maybe it'd be better if Kevin was in the back. Yeah, because the control stick's in the front. Changing it here momentarily. Oh, that sounds like the audio. As usual, typical for power heads of vacuum cleaners. Well, this model is one of those new type Bissell Pet Smarts, they call it. That's right. Got looking into it, put my finger in. Well, I took a couple of pictures of the beginning of how clogged. Only two hours taking it apart, and whatever it takes now to put it together. Belt and our motor middle case to the lower case I should be able to pull it back and forth and there's no freedom there off of there I got nothing left over so it must be for some attachment or something slide on I don't know well I think I just came up with a plan it might just work yeah this is just a testing what I'm trying to do is because I got no more camera my camera blew up here is using the camera on the my cell phone. I'm just trying to figure a way of hooking it up to my tripod. We start there. Ah, oh, there we are. Is this ever a totally different setup? Well, we have to do some inspecting here, figuring this out. Well, it's one big magnet. Well, I'll be dipped. The old resting houses used to have, right here, remember in an earlier video, I was talking about a clutch spring. To be working and filming at the same time using this stinking cell phone. If you see the back side of the seal, you see the rust that was behind the seal. New camera. I got the bearings ordered for the washer. They won't arrive until Monday. The seal I had to order from my appliance uh, parts dealer down in Vancouver. With such a limited income, I just bought an El Tipo one. It was under $60. It's kind of a cute little thing because you can fit it in your hand like that, making it really easy. Another feature I like about this is like that last job I did on that washer, if I had the screen in that position, I could have seen it a lot better. We start with the back one first. Now generally I use the, the socket or a pipe there, but when you don't have, you just go around the edges. Start it slowly. Now we flip this around and do the inner one. We flip this tub around. Got the better bearings. One with the 
rubber instead of the metal in here. Same thing. Position it in. Start with light taps around the edge. With this one, it's a slightly different pattern. Now for the seal. So again, this seal goes on in one way. Make sure that your inner is to the bearing side. So. Gently tap it along the edge again. One seal. So. Bearings are in, seal is installed, now we're ready to start assembling. Anyways, there's the shear pin that I got put on, so I got my two wrenches dug out. Anyways, this is the one with the broken pin, and I just see everything froze up here, so I have an electric start on this blower here, so... We'll see how good. Okay, choke on. This hasn't been started for quite a while, some time. There we have it. One new pin, so we're right, ready to go to work, clean the driveway. Get started on making my brackets to mount my table saw down. Experimenting here, and I came up with a pattern. So what I'm going to do is make four pieces like this. I just used the bolt here temporarily to give me a little sample where and how much I should go here. I've got that all figured out. So the first thing we're going to do is get some pieces cut out. And then we're going to weld them together. So we just need a... Okay, so that will be our first one. Now we weld these two together. So we'll put it in the old place here. Just tack it to begin with. Okay, that's what we're after. Perfect. Okay, so well, there we have it. Start getting some of the outside work done. I'm going to be in this, working in this boathouse. Goal today is I'm going to get a security camera on the inside of this boathouse. Okay. Camera is mounted, so we just, that's better, that's what we want. Okay, now I'm going to get the stapler out, and we're going to staple this down along this post, along the base of here. Okay, now we'll come on the lower side up from this point, because we will be going underground at that point. <laughs> Plus when the grass grows up, 
it's going to hide it. Do a little fire work, fire taping, a spot so that I have to open when I put the uh, Cat 6 cable in. So we're going to fire tape that joint there. When I, op I have to open that up. That's piece number two. Clean the exits off the knife. When that dries, it sucks the tape in. doing here you're constantly wanting to keep your mud and your tray mixed like to work very fast Okay, well that's, that's it. Continuation on the old Sunday. turn so I was like yeah. screw it I gotta do the deck anyway cut but the corner off and get a wider angle here makes sense so what do you think of my plan good idea that is the lowest spot where it's something down causing this is the issue as you see because it got so low in there theoretically that's out now it does Keep track of which row they belong to. I'm going here today. A little odd to manage, but haven't been done. We need want to do. Just haven't gotten around to doing it. The spare bracket that we got left over. And, uh, previous project on the sun deck. I've got pre-drilled my holes here. And replacing that board with this board so it ends up complete rail again. Okay, that completes that one. Now the next thing is new barbecue. I see all three burners here. That's the whole reason right there why we have to get new burners. Metal pile again, see what else we got. I do believe I have the answer right here. This is an old light to the to our park. My son just bought a new boat here and I want to update the uh, present fish finder, GPS and sonar as well as put some downriggers. So our project is today come over and want my help. Last weekend we did put that downrigger on and it's an electric one so we have put a uh, plug in so we can just plug it in on the side over here 
So that's in the back of that. That's the head. And here's the back. So you, they made it so you can unmount it at any time and hide the head somewhere. Okay, that's a I good think spot. that would be your spot right there. Like that. Now you got freedom for your steering. Yeah, that's the spot. I go slow, you're dealing with two factors here. Number one, for trying to prevent a kickback, and number two is because the way I'm positioned. Okay, there's our first piece in. Remember the piece I made in the shop? I couldn't find the third piece, and I was debating whether there was a third or not. But this is where this piece of uh, meat in the shop goes. It will go right there. So got me a rod. Got me two new, two new wheels. Oh, I did put some blocks here so I could get my two inch cut there. So it's all set up. Now I'm just going to figure out how we can build our system for our wheels. And we want to prevent 114 pickup is a U-clamp. Number two is cutting pieces off of here and making a clamp. Number three is taking this plate like this, welding the axle on this side to it. So I'm going to look through my junk box, see what all I got which method I'll use. It'd be nice if I could get that just a little bit lower, which means that I do have to get that axle on the upper side of where I'm presently got in its sitting. So I'm gonna think about this, which one I want, it, which route I'm gonna take. But that is my ultimate goal, right there. It had 46 kilometers on it, blew the engine. Uh, in the correction, <laughs> correction, said, correction, correction. How do you spell it? What? You just said some word that I'd like to know how it's spelled. Which word? Is that a Kilometer. Word? How do you spell it? Kilometers? Yeah. K I L O M. Uh -huh. Oh. What letter? O. Oh. So how do you get O oh, out of no, he doesn't know. Uh, might, might okay, well, there's the red gentleman that owns this beautiful car. And he just told me he was across Canada with this thing. Good, sir. With Canadian coasters. There was 104 cars. Went. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Are you? Did you restore this or did you no, get it like this? this? This car, I'm the fourth owner. And actual miles at some place between 95 and 100,000. I've had three broken speedometers, so I can't figure it exactly, but it's some place, and that's the original mileage on it. Project, next project here I got. So I gotta get the pressure washer going for the car. And I need a hot water there. I've had this tap for quite some time. Sit. <laughs> Go to 
that the COVID came out, now you, every one of these comes individually in packages. Brought my pipe, cut my length of pipe here, hooked my tap, moving my tap over about two inches from there, so that's secured. Good, and so that's now seated. I just cracked it open a little bit. I've been going through uh, my files on my computer, and I found some of my old drives that I used for my backups. I made, put all my backups on all my smaller drives, and then I turn around and I label them like this, what's all on the drive, so I have a backup that way. My ex called me and wanted me to replace an outside tap for her. Well, that job took me just about three days to do it. Because, and I, I didn't bother taking my camera and uh, videotaping it. thought about it afterwards as I should have. First of all, I had to, it was all uh, finished basement, so I had to open up a lot of the drywall and trace the uh, water pipe for the water line out where it went to get to the tap to begin with. Where in the hell are you? Here when we're older, because our minds stay young, but our bodies don't, and we get tired a lot more quicker. So that's why we end up getting much here. So now I'm going to just turn the pressure up just a little bit more on the hose there, and she's flowing pretty good. Okay, now. And we can see what's coming out already. Do any more videos with this camera until I got a new camera. But here's this thing. I haven't got the money to buy a new camera. This is the cost of them. When you're on a fixed income, you can only do so much. It's like I said this earlier, got so many projects here. And it's only one way of me keeping track of where I am. Referring back to some of my videos there. So decide, well, okay, I'll just continue until I can afford a camera. That's what I was open to gain with starting a channel on YouTube. Was uh, being able to earn a little extra money with the support and but with needing 500 subscribers before I'm monetized and the rate rate it's going I can see that that's not going to happen for me so I have to continue with what I have frame on the boat but I got this phone call and a good pile of metal here that might be handy for you for your boat house I says great come and pick me up help me to help them load it. Well, I got the back side of the wall here all done up already. I didn't bother filming this and that's why I was thinking. So, what I did here was I got all this and it was brown in color so I said that make a perfect back wall. Well, this is continuing to work on the old car of mine. I uh, hope today will be the day that this thing gets running on me. It's beginning beginning to be a real nightmare for me. My old flashlight out here. I found the tiny mark on this side here. Very difficult to even see it. But I don't see a little almost like a horseshoe click. 
for bolting that distributor down. Yeah, might just have to make one. No, another delay. Just one steady delay after another. That's why I called my last video, Will This Nightmare Ever End? I don't see hiding a hair of it anywhere. Oh, I don't like what I see. Okay. Well, held underneath the car, and I didn't like what I saw. I'm not happy about it. Coming from the back end, and that's the reason I haven't put any of this stuff on the back here yet. I want to make sure this is 100% before I put it all back on. What I saw at the back was antifreeze dripping. That is a mystery. That got me stumped. That's what I'm thinking it is. And just get this thing started. Get it back in the garage and park it. I've had about enough of this thing. I've had it, what, 14 years already? So it has served me very, very, very well. So I gotta figure a way to tighten this distributor down. And I can't find the clamp. That's oh, lovely. Just lovely. Did I get enough charge to turn this over? Well, it turns over, so must be working, the gauge just isn't working. Turn the ignition on, and see what happens here. Hopefully, we'll bring the thunder on. down in there and you got that second coil right in the road. Another one of four better idea. Put the damn thing where you can't hardly see it. Yeah. This is circulating good. Okay, well I'm going to put my old running light in here. I'm glad it's running. At least it's running like this. I'm going to just pull this car now into the grass here. And I'll worry about the rest at a later date. Okay, well that's it. Finally, got the car running again. But like I said, didn't like to see that antifreeze underneath. We'll deal with that later. Because I, if I have to take it apart again, it's going to be somebody else. It's not going to be me. This is it. This took a toll on phase three of this project. Rede redesigning my workbench. And as Derek would say, and I'm going to turn this over. I'm going to, in Derek's own words, add that saying into this clip here because it is so true you just gotta keep your feet moving we'll get there we'll get there eventually and just like your project at home i know you might be waiting to buy something or you can't get something right now or you're unsure look go get all the junk off the roof bad example clean it up go spray paint something dream make a list write a list out just do something with your project you got to get that fire in your belly again. Just don't let it sit there and do nothing, okay? And if you keep your feet moving, you keep your interests alive, you'll get your project going, okay?
phase three here is going to be one end. I'm happy with that. Okay, now it's the center piece. So I've been thinking about the center piece here. Got my level out. I want to take this point of the bench and I want to level that this top perfectly level and we have it right there. No. There's a little light gap in here, so I took a piece and I put it in here. Took my air gun and nailer, put two nails in it to draw it through that piece into this one to hold that in place. Tap this end in. There we have it. Woo! I see. Can't get in there with the air nailer. Go from there until it was achieved. That's why it took so long. I'm so happy but glad that this is finally done. We have to take the shrouding out here so I could target that bolt off. This is the housing that the uh, mount shield wiper assembly all has to go in, including the motor that we couldn't get at. Work in the garage rather than outside. Now, now we get the arm assembly. Okay, now we get this in its position. Now here's where the fun comes in. This is your arm that attaches to the motor. And yeah, it comes up through this hole, right? Now here's the reason why this has got to be all pre-assembly. is because of this. This stupid clip right here. It's got to go on here. There it is on. What happened to the good old days? It was simple. This whole complete thing has to be all as one unit coming off and going on. And you can see right there with this two bolts bolting it down. How are you going to access that pin? Or that clip I should say. That is the whole reason. Just because of that one stupid clip. Thank you.